Welcome back to Luigi's Mansion 3. This will be a shorter stream in terms of story progress, but once I get in position for tomorrow's finale, then we're going through an oh the uh, going through what is it now? An overview of the multiplayer mode. And thanks, I'm proud of me too. Tonight we dance. Get down, Luigi. Oh. Oh. Ah, or get up, because the elevator is taking us to the 14th floor. Hmm, someone left this disco floor here. Luigi, let's do a duet. <laughs> then there were stairs. Stairs from the crowd because of our awesome dancing, naturally. Got any more money? Fine, be stingy. That's where the real scene is, the underground. Knock into the vault. They lit all the cash. And there's the golden gem. Make it rain for Luigi. Right, over here on the left, we got records which feature circles. So naturally, I am plunger curious. Uh, I guess I could also just spin the record. Is this just to play a little jazz rendition of the Luigi's Mansion theme? What if I blow it? Hello, I see you, Brit. Okay, there's definitely something to that. Suck one and blow the other. Okay, I'll come back to this. But we know there's something. Ah, look at them. They're ready to break game. Get your tickets here. Okay, 
bad jump. mystery about me. Mayor loose change. We're in the end game, so I'm gonna try not to let too much money go. Spiders. I think we cleaned out the closet. Sign is not match for me. Hey. I'm gonna take your plunging like a man. Make sure I can't blow this carpet anywhere. I want to take one more look over at the place where I missed something. It's also this long stretch of hallway, wow. where all we have is this wall. I think that'll do something. Maybe I'll have Gooey in the record. 
Ooh, EG can figure out what's going on. Suck into it, I blow into it, I burst underneath it. Ah, right, that's a coin block. Aha, I figured it out, game. Classic 2D Mario trick right there. Can't fool me for more than 10 minutes. That put me overall. Still three gems missing. Thus we continue. Up these stairs. It was nice of them to leave the final button wow. sitting out right there on a silver platter with a staircase leading up to it and everything. Uh, uh, uh. Ha, hello. Amazing that she could see us coming through all that hair. Or at least the part in her eyes. I'd like to point out Luigi right now. No one can resist the beat. What did I have to do? I got their hoodie. I already tried this. I'm supposed to find which one has the button? That is not what I understood at all. This one's a little off. Okay, now that I knew I was supposed to do that... This one, I know which one has it, so I just gotta hear him. Ah, I thought it was... How'd I lose track of it?
And we're back from the top. One of them's gonna fall out of sync. I just gotta watch that one. Oh, come on, that's not the one I was aiming. How to get over there? Well, at least I can take you out. Wow, that didn't really do anything because there's still just as many ghosts as there were before. Just the front center. You know, you're not supposed to put the guy who doesn't know the choreography in the front and center. Not if you can help it. Ow. We got to touch him. Stop worming your way. I knew it was that one. Come on. Do it. I mean, Egan, I know. You told me the first time. I've been getting it right. Just a gauntlet. Ow. Oh, that one's got real mixed in. Yeah, I lost track of that one. This is not good. Ready to do it all. I don't know how many times we've done this now. See you back left. Come on, that was him. Come on. What? That was his not counting. It is a nice day. However, after the seventh time, it wears off. I love how she deliberately obscured her vision before the boss. Yeah, try and beat me, that's for sure. Ah, good music. Alright, he's finished. Thank you, Ned. Pretty sure those are just stationary obstacles, kind of like Rob's down B and Smash. Oh, was that my moment and I wasn't anywhere near her? Ah. Alright, I gotta bust the wing, and then... Whee! 
Come on, baby, let's do it. Oh, we do the real Casanova. He especially likes doing the dip by slamming you against the ground. her for injury I want everything on the record I don't think so either. Try and keep that in mind. Now I don't think this is what they usually mean by spinning the record. So. where I needed to be. I don't know who that first one is, so I have no frame of reference. But yeah, probably Luigi. Oh my god, you gave me nowhere to go. Granted, that's what you should do as a boss. It's still happening. Oh my god. Falling on top of me is also a good boss strategy. Wow. Oh, that Zag. I didn't recognize it because it said Zag instead of Zagreus. Skull ball of death. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Groovy. Yeah, he said groovy. Hello, mysterious black tile. Hello, other mysterious black tile. Oh, hey, it's that ability that only gets used three times in the whole game. I'm kind of blowing out the speakers, but I'm sucking them out. I could also use the blow button, but I did some experimenting the last time I had this ability, and the blow button is just going to be another suck button when you're in the blow wake out now, but I gotta clean this place.
do 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 I found the stairs. How do I get this way? That wig too special. Yeah. Whoa. Aha! I see what you did there. <laughs> If you don't like all the puns, then you don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> that black hole just seems weird. It's a table. <laughs> come back to that. But I, I think there's also one on the other side. Doop doop. The question is, can I do both at the same time? Will the camera stretch that far? Looking like a yes. I would have never thought to use a disco ball as a piggy bank, but here we are. Live your life the way you want. Right, there's one gem left on this floor. Hello, rat boof. I got stuff. Got more stuff. Looky at all that stuff. And not plunge that. Okay, look, I'm missing the blue gem, and there is a blue pair of headphones right here, so the question is how? It doesn't look exactly like the gems, but it can't be unrelated. Ah, that's why I could have knocked that one down. Ah, see, that was a hint. I knew it. 
I am the smart. Everyone wears headphones inside their hair. Makes all the sense in the world. It's Am's Gray. If I graffiti wall that never actually did anything. Last second ambush. Don't wipe the sweat off your brow. I'm gonna give me more time to catch you. gives us access to the master suite however <laughs> the master suite is going to be a tomorrow thing I'm just gonna take a quick uh, quick swing by the lab to see if I miss anything else before I go into multiplayer stuff I'm saving all the 15th floor and the end of the game for Tomorrow's official finale. The reason I didn't just fast travel to the lab is because I'm still gonna have to get a boo on the 14th floor, and I don't think it'll spawn unless you leave. So gem wise, check, check, check. Uh huh. Look at all of those gems as I hit the up button. Master Sweet's gems will be included tomorrow. And for ghosts, I never caught a boo on the second basement floor. In 10, 11, 12, 13, and there's 14. I, okay, well that answers that question. I am going to basement 2, and then back to floor 14 for the boobs. That will be every collectible that you can possibly get before accessing the final floor. Elevators this way. Won't be too much longer that I'll be able to stare at Polter Pup's face in my flashlight. To get that dose in while I can. The boiler. That's a little hard on the ton. Even though it is the boiler floor. No, it's actually in here. I need to send Luigi down. Now the vibration's not as strong. Wow. 
It is quite strong on the left. Going with blow in this valve. I'm Booster. Way to move that wrench. What does a combustor do anyway, other than light things on fire? So when they thought of that boo pun, they had ingenuity. Alright, now let's see if I can go back to uh, the dance hall. I imagine it's probably in the main stage. Uh, Luigi was, in fact, dancing quite a bit earlier. If you haven't seen his dancing animation, then you owe it to yourself to check that. Hmm, it doesn't feel particularly strong in here. Also, the organ music was playing in the hallway, so I should have picked up on the fact that he actually is somewhere in this hall. Wow! In the closet. Subdued position. You might be like, Azran, there was one more Boo capsule in the gallery. You haven't caught the Boo on the 15th floor. Ah, uh, well, there is one Boo left. And we've, we've known about that Boo since the very beginning of the game. So yeah, that one counts. I'm gonna take the elevator down to back to the basement just so that the game saves my progress. Alright, so that is all the story and collectible progress for this stream. If you're interested in the 15th floor and the very end of the game, that's a tomorrow thing. For the rest of tonight, I'm going to be giving the multiplayer modes a bit of a look. 
then you know there's not really another time to squeeze them in i did a bit of scare scraper earlier in the series and there might be a bit of that tonight but there's also the other modes just for the sake of showing Coming for you soon, 15 floor. Alright, so let me show off the screen part. This is your local minigames, and not be done online. It does support 8-player like Smash. Why this is like the only other game on Switch that does this? Okay, that's not true. There's other games on the Switch that do this, but they're very few. Like, I think Mario Kart allows this. Well, no, not on the same system. Uh, Mario Strikers Battle League? Mario Kart you can get 8 if you do like 2 per system on a wireless connection. That requires four switches. So, yeah. Anyway, one minigame is Ghost Hunt. I've never played any of these, by the way. Because when the game first came out, it was strictly multiplayer. Uh, but I'm playing after a patch where they allow you to at least go in as a single person. Or, like, practice. So this will be a new experience for me. <laughs> Some ghosts are worth more points than others. Pick your targets carefully. Game will enter practice mode, yes. You can see the controls, which apply for a single Joy-Con as well. Uh, the reds are worth the most points. Uh, for special ghosts, are you talking about the rare ones in the gallery, or are you talking about, like, the one that it said is hiding in the gravestones in this minigame? Because I think the red one is what I meant by special, because it's worth 12 whole points. Oh, that's a power-up. All the multiplayer modes have the power-up. Yeah, so I think they mean the red one. I think blue and gold are just gonna show up. But red, you probably have to go out of your way and look for it. There are a bunch here. But then again, this is made for eight players. Oh, there's gold. Okay, so the gold comes out of the sparkling gravestones if you actually hit them. Uh, you can break the gravestones a little bit. Alter Pop is still going around looking for power up. Oh, there's red. And all of a sudden they show up. Okay, so. I guess the gold is the special, even though it's worth a lot less points. Ah, uh, but the red has a lot more HP, even compared to single player. Okay, so I see. The gold is more worth it because it doesn't take as long to defeat, and it gives you three points. The reds take a long time to defeat, but they give you a lot more. I guess it could be, but I have no way of knowing. I got 22. Also, yes, all the mini games for eight player, up to eight players, are split into Luigi versus Gooigi, so. There you go. Anyway, so just a little arena game of ghost catching there.
What else have we got? Oh, uh, it's not one versus three, so it's like player one is Luigi, and then player two would be green Gooigi, and then there's blue, yellow, and pink for both Luigi and Gooigi. Next up is Cannon Barrage. Use your cannon to break targets. The team with the most points wins. If to collect the cannonballs, load the cannon, and fire, you can steal other cannonballs from people. Boink. Take the cannonball. Get up to here. No? Was I, was I supposed to load it in the front of the cannon? Probably. Well, that was dumb of me. Oh. Okay, here, let me put the other team's cannon to work. Oh, it doesn't let me. <laughs> I thought of that. So then I think some special targets show up at some point. Yeah, there we go. Oh, and then ghosts have cannonballs. And they do pierce. Alright, well, I think that about explains all there is to this minigame. You know, the other good thing about them adding a, pra adding a practice mode is that like, if someone's trying to learn the controls, they at least stand a chance to, like, going in there and figuring it out. There's not that many controls, all things considered, because you just have the trigger to suck, the Y button for plunger in some cases, and then the A button to flashlight and slam the ghosts. Okay, coin floating. This is based on that one boss in the boiler room. So we're being a floaty. Team that collects the most coins wins, but there are mine. Also, stars. Ooh. He goes down, and then you gotta mash A to blow back your, uh, floaty. I think need, I never got to try that game. But I do wonder how they could possibly modernize it. For, uh, some of the things that they did. Okay, here's Luigi with a star. And I can bust through mines. Yep, sure can. Alright, that's that minigame. Gotta be a lot more hectic if you're bumping around in there with other Luigis and Gooigis, but there you go. Although it's interesting that Gooigi can ride a float all of a sudden. Because wouldn't his butt still touch the water, thus killing him?
Hi, now we get into the stuff that you only get with the DLC. So starting here, Tricky Ghost Hunt is Ghost Hunt, but with electric floors. That, that's it. Take a quick look at it, <laughs> what it sounds like. Uh, they do add in two point and four point ghosts. Ah, uh, DLC is ten bucks. You get the flashlight I've been using as a cosmetic bonus, but the main draw is a hey, more multiplayer option. This has electric floors. Oh, it's in the treasure chest. Now, for the sake of showing it, I'll get shot. There we go, let's get shot. That's what that looks like, and you lose points. Ah, uh, that ghost got hit by the other ghost projectile. How funny. Okay, that's that mini game. <laughs> yes, you do get the additional costumes for Scare Scraper. And it also. Uh, there are new floors added to Scare Scraper. So instead of just the default floor layouts, you can also end up with more random floor layouts, and they're based on the costumes. Like they added Pirate Luigi as a costume, and there's pirate floors. You can only see those if you have the DLC. Or if you're in a lobby with someone who has the DLC, I should say. Uh, same thing for, like, the Mummy Luigi, and then the floor is based on the crypt. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Let me test that. <laughs> Shouldn't take too long. There were plenty of electric panels to pick from. Oh, these doors warp you? Well, I'm glad I came back here. Uh, based on how that went, I mean, I need to not be in the electricity myself, but it looked like it was helping. I'd just be imagining that, though. Nope. Maybe it doesn't. The theory is harder to test than I thought. Okay, I got it that time. 
Doesn't look like it helped. I think it still went down by 20 for a slam there. But we did learn about the warp doors. So definitely not a waste of a trip. Dodge Brawl. Knock out the members of the opposing team. You're hit three times and fall, a teammate will need to help you up. Okay, so this one uses suck for pick up, blow for shoot, and then burst to dodge. Oh, hey, it gave me some Gooigi's over there to beat up. That's nice. Boink. Ah, smaller but bouncy. Aha, I got you from behind. I know that bomb does damage after it explodes too, but it bounced away from it. Ooh, watermelon. Ah, I see that one breaks. Makes sense for a watermelon. Yep, the explosion does damage too. See if I can get that last one. Yeah, I knocked them all down. Woo! Ah, uh, because it is. The way J win. The way J number one. <laughs> River Bank. Okay, this is a variant on the coin mini game, but on a river. That what I am. That what I'm seeing. Yes, this is the coin mini game again, but on a river. Like, the DLC was already not the most tempting thing in the world because it was just more mini games that no one wanted to play. But now, knowing that several of them are just reskins of the existing mini games, it's who already? I don't know, man. Should have just been, like, options for the original mini game. Like, hey, do you want to play the coin game on the pool or in the river? You want to play the ghost hunt on the graveyard stage or in the electricity stage? I'll show off falling off the river just to see what that looks like. back up on that cliff. There's also these spikes. Launch you up onto that cliff. And that's that mini. Extravaganza. Whoever decided on that name needs a talking to. I don't know. Four points by getting pucks into the other team's goal. 
burst ability when moving pucks around. The large puck is worth more points. Okay, hockey. That's at least different. There are items. You can push the puck, hold the puck, chuck the puck, buck the puck, buck the puck. Okay, the burst makes it go nuts like an air hockey table. I scored on myself, yay! <laughs> I'll get back. Ah, oh, you can cross onto the other side of the table. Just like real air hockey. Ah, uh, this increases the strength of things. It almost reminds me of Pikmin pellets. Go for Brook. What's that item do? Oh, it gives you a bumper in front of your goal. Defense, defense. They've still scored six points on us. Even though there's none of them. There are no opponents. But they're... <laughs> I mean, they're not winning, but the fact that they have any points at all is something. Oh my god. Stop, they're in the double digits! This one seems decent. Probably one of the better options of the bunch. Should be just a few more to go in the Scream Park. Cloudy Frenzy. Okay, this one's a race. For a second, I thought they had a third variation of the coin game. But it is a race. Uh, there are still coins. What do those do? Why would you pick them up? I'm in first place, guys. What is the point of this pathway? Oh, a shortcut. Okay, I get it. Now, the shortcut opens up so that people can catch up. Okay, and then what's up with that upper path? Zoom item. Ow. I'm invincible. This is very much like Top Ride from Kirby Air Ride, except it almost works. Yeah, I did it. I got 12 points for first place. I don't think the coins actually did anything. Wait, there's more? <laughs> I think the only item is the star, so you're just getting invincibility from mines and from opponents. That way he's shorter, as he hit the mine. Okay. 
Well, I didn't know there were gonna be multiple courses, so I guess I'm gonna finish this last lap here. See if there's yet another one. There is, in fact, a course three. Alright, well, this cave is vicious. Woo! Got all these whirlpools, more mine. That's a dead end, you have to... You want that item, you have to go all the way there and then loop back into this cave. Here I thought the cave was just like a hidden shortcut. The required path. Alright, I have to imagine that the third course is going to be the last part. <laughs> Just in case it's not, I will finish this lap again. And go reverse of the whirlpool if you are savvy enough. Oh yeah, it's Mario Kart though. This is Luigi Kart. Or it's best of three. And the final, and the final mini game, Desperate Measures. Earn points by piling up weights and sand on the scales, trying to match the designated weight. If you're feeling really competitive, you can launch bombs at the other team. So this is that one room from the tomb suites, just turned into a competition. And there was also a POW block. Thirty-five. What's oh, the POW block? Whoa. Wow! No weights in <laughs> Or do I need to suction that to you? Yeah. Eh, worth checking. Alright, there's a bit of weight. Where am I at? Over. <laughs> Acceptable. Need more. Ooh, right on the money. Woo. Not acceptable. Does the bomb count as part of the weight? I don't know, but I got an acceptable. Whoa! Hey! Get back over here.
still trying to figure out how to actually use the hot lock. Slamming the ghost. Wow. How would those bombs hit the other team? I did try throwing a bomb at it. That had no effect. Okay, the bombs can pass through there. Over. A lot of sand in here. Not enough. Aisle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, perhaps. I just never figured out how to use it. <laughs> Alright, that is all the mini games. The first three come with the base game, the additional variants that we saw afterwards, as well as things like air hockey, racing, and weight competition are not behind the DLC. So, here you go. That is the screen park, designed for local multiplayer. As a reminder, for Scarescraper, you also get these costumes, which influence the types of floors that you can see. In addition to your ordinary overalls, Mummy G, the Green Knight, Groovy G, the Amazing Luigi, Alien Taluigiist, and Captain Ouija. After what we did tonight, there's only one option, and it's Groovy G. Alright, last time I tried to do this with a few streams ago, it was kind of hard to find things, but it made it work, eventually. Hey, some cool dude is there. That's weird. It, it really glitched out on that load screen for a second. Ah, see, now I've got disco floors. This guy's almost dead. I oh, almost caught in a trap. Yeah. 
trying to do the fastest slam, but the game is not allowing me. There we go, it worked that time. Anything good in here? And just some cash. You go in there, I'll go in here. Doesn't seem like there's any ghosts in here. Maybe a power up? Yeah, power up. Don't know what that red silent red siren does, to be honest. Ooh, okay, dark light glasses. That'll show you stuff you need the dark light. I remember that one. Ah, oh, suck improvement. Nice. Now if I only had a room with ghosts in it to actually do. There's an example of the dark light glasses working. Tiny bit of extra cash. There's a door in here. No one's gone through. on this floor. How else do I need to look? And in here. Oh, is the siren saying I'm near some ghosts? And where? Uh, he seems to think there's something important over here. We need our weight. Why did you call me over here? I don't get it. Oh, I had the key. I didn't know that door was locked. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I find time right as I say that. Still not enough to do what needs to be done. I'm in there. Ah. Hey, Dan. I 
Some more time in the sink. And in the toilet. I am the time god. Might actually be doable now, but only if I can locate the ghosts. Which have to be around here. Wow, you know what? It kind of looks like they did. Well, that's a shame. I was hoping that would give me another clock, but... Because that was too ambitious. Hey, another clock! <laughs> ah, this is not gonna... I should just stop. Because <laughs> I'm alone. Just another balcony? That's just another balcony. I know the siren went off down there, but I didn't even see any, like, room that it could be. So, I'm probably just stupid, but... time. Oh, well. Oh. Yeah, that other person left. Maybe if I should choose the game in progress option, I'll find someone who's actually playing. Maybe. Over a fiver. Okay, we can join Chris's team. It was on the second floor. Well, if they finish the second floor, then I can join them on the third floor. That requires up to four and a half minutes of wait time. Hmm. I don't know if that's worth it. I don't know it's not. Wee! Maybe could not join the game. I was trying to start one. Hear me now, I am Luigi. Who here wants to be my Luigi? Maybe I should have just waited that four and a half minutes. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Jedi, of course. Oh, I'm gonna wait like, ooh. A third person. Oh, a fourth person. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, we may actually get somewhere. <laughs> Alright, this time I just need to keep a better eye on if there's a locked door. That definitely cost us time last time. Alright, I'll go lift. Oh, come on. One person left already? Why? Okay, no power-ups. I 
just want to open this chest. The number of floors or the number of people? Floors you can set up to 20. But I feel like you're more likely to find people playing in the shorter floor game. As 20 is a big commitment, unless you're with friends. That room is done. There's ghosts in here. Someone's just been going around looking for the ghost rooms and then leaving the rest of us to deal with them. Which might not be a bad thing, because then everyone can at least see where they need to go. As long as they actually start contributing to the ghost hatching before it's too late. Ink has a key. Hello on the bed, so I thought he was the other, right? There's more in here. There you are. Looking for your body. Isn't it awkward when I bang you on the table? How dare he not have his eyes back in? Oh, yeah. oh, what? They put a trap on the way to this other trap? Hey, we got a new yellow. Welcome, new yellow. Just look at Luigi's mouth move from inside the carpet trap. Oh, now Blue shows up. Why did I fall for that? Guys, come on. Guys, come on. There's two robes of goats. Not a lot of time left. Pink left. Pink has had enough of me. Whatever happened to that yellow guy who joined? Not the first one who left, but the second one who apparently left. You don't want any help on that last room? I assume it's the last room. Actually, that's not... <sighs> okay, look, I see a warp pad that's gonna require everyone from the lobby to go up there. There is no way that we have enough time. Chest right here. Oh, it's open. I guess he found more time. I am gonna get to that warp pad. 
I didn't even see the yellow guy on the map, and now all of a sudden he's apparently left. Oh, come on! Yeah, we need to go to that room on the top right and stand on the giant button. So why are you still down in the bottom left and why haven't you helped me at all when we need to be there simultaneously? Gee, I wonder why we ran out of time. It's not like we could have had two people contributing. Yeah, you leave. Go ahead and blame me. I'm gonna give it one more real effort. Once again, I don't get how I couldn't join the game that I was trying to start. <laughs> oh, look who came crawling back! I am not going with just him. No way. Problem is, since I started the lobby, if I hit ready, it's just going to assume I want to go with anyone in the lobby at the time. Even though the recruit team option is on. Yeah, you better run. Ah, Jake and second Jake. Welcome. Glad that there's a Gooigi me in there means that there's two of them. Ah, Jake, Jake, and Dennis. I can work with that. I feel like if we have two Jakes, then we're still gonna have a decent shot. Okay, my name's not Jake, but if it was Jake, this would be really funny. Alright, giving me any power-ups in my starting room? Yes, actually. And I checked then. fourth wall. How am I supposed to catch you there? Okay, so fortunately, the two jinx can help each other out. <laughs> when one gets caught in a trap, the other can just be like, I'll help you. Yeah, too bad that's not on our Smash costume tier list. Or else we would totally put it there. I got temporary invincibility. I actually use it on anything. Looking like a no. And I don't know how long it lasts exactly, but... Oh, I can use it on the rack. Yeah. 
Secret door, secret door, secret door. Wow, a lot of ghosts in here. Big Red is on theme now. Everyone but me needs help. Oh my god. Thank you. over here because we could really use time or any sort of advantage at all. That uh, square scraper. Square scraper can be like that sometimes. It's the thing about random floors. Someone's responsive. That siren would have been nice earlier. found any more ghosts since that first room? I refilled our time a bit. Wondering if the Jakes have any idea how to actually play this mode. Uh, not, not unless I have their own floor, I don't think. Even then, I don't know for sure. How do I get? Need to be looking on the right side from the looks of it. How do I get her? Wait, I need it over here. Help with what? Oh yes, yes there are. I go into one of these rooms on the right and I guarantee there will be a bunch of ghosts in it and no one even bothered to come over here. Okay, I 
Actually, there weren't any ghosts in the room I passed through, but still. Sorry, Jake. Just didn't work out. And also, sorry, Jake. Didn't work out for you, either. Is that why they stopped? Please tell me that's not why they stopped. Did they somehow know? Oh my god. Speaking of achievements, there's actually one more thing I can do that I just remembered. Anyway, Skyscraper, probably not best played with randoms online. <laughs> uh, but with friends, that mode can be pretty decent. It's just one of those things, kind of like Clan Blitz in Splatoon, where communication makes it better. You need everyone in different places doing different things. Why am I back on the 12th floor, you may be asking. Well, we knew there was something off here. I didn't know exactly how to do it at the time. But I have I've become a changed man. I've learned things. So that's how that's done. I think I made the coconuts disappear before I could have tried it. But like, there's no other point in the game where you hold something in your vacuum and then press X to make it do something. And like, you would think you're loading the cannonball in the chamber. Like, there's a whole mini game about loading a cannonball into a chamber before you fire it. But that's not how this one works. So that is not required for anything other than achievement. Speaking of which, is there a place I can view those? If there is, it's probably in the lab. Is it in my gallery? I um... Ah, when did I get flashlight type B? Oh, is this for catching all the boos? I don't have a boo flashlight now. Oh, you can't have both at the same time. Oh, fine, I'll use the boo light. Album. Ah, just music. Album. Okay. Why is there a polter candy selection? Who gave the cat the right to pick music? Who the dance hall? I got one from different floors.
This is the music that plays when you track down the kitty or when you fight the kitty. Hey, shout outs to whoever had to design these album leaves. I've never actually looked at these before. <laughs> oh my god, this one's janitorial equipment. Oh, I'm looking for one track. There it is! Favorite floor or favorite song? Stops, the mezzanine, the lobby. Basement, boiler, prologue. Okay, um, album cover. Now that I've seen these for the first time, I mean, the music one is nice. Then. Honestly, as much as I hate the cat, the cat's cover is kind of neat. <laughs> um, as for favorite floor, I would say four floor for catering to my musical tendencies if it wasn't for the fact that you can't get all the gems on the first visit, despite being able to do that on every other floor up to that point, and then you have to go all the way to floor 12 to unlock a thing that you use three times in the whole game, one of which just happens to be on the fourth floor. <laughs> so no, the fourth floor is not my favorite. <laughs> um... Apart from it... Some of the movie studio stuff is too obtuse. Uh, what were my other options again? Maybe the gym? Uh, the garden suite's not bad. Top is a classic. But I'd say the gym. As far as gameplay goes, the fitness center. So many Fs. Friends. Host. Lock, lock, lock. Dance hall. Oh, hey, they put the same album covers on these, like... Why did they use floppy disks? Oh, look at the projector. It, 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 it. You can see the floppy disk in there. Ah, oh, this is concept art. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ah, uh, Morty. Ah, uh, did the music albums do that same thing? I just didn't notice it. 
does put a record on there, but it doesn't really show. Yeah, they all look the same. That's just gem. No, oh, so I've caught 227 goobs, by the way. Only two trappers, though, have shown up in the whole game. Look at all these other ghosts that have not appeared in the slightest. And I got this rare ghost section. I've never filled in a single one because these are exclusive to Scarescraper and I have no idea what triggers them. We fought many a boss along the way. By the way, the poem, the one we fought today was DJ Phantasma Gloria. That guide setting. You know what? We haven't checked the FAQ in a while. <laughs> oh, it was deep end. Like, the deep end of the pool. There were some locked questions in here. Let's see. Ah. Uh, lock. Lock. Bell ball. The sucking. Where are the booze? Did you, why'd that TV suck me up? Those TVs aren't just for watching. Use them to move around in the hotel. What's more, if you're carrying something when you enter one, you can bring whatever you're carrying with you. Alright, so whatever questions I was missing, they are filled in here. Uh, there is a guide to Scare Scraper mode specifically. There's also a guide to shopping. Tells you what those things do. Yeah, it's just really hard in the moment. And all the characters. But I was trying to see if I... <laughs> Remember, I'm just looking for an achievement place somewhere. There even is. Shopping, e guide, title screen, map, hotel. E guide, what do you say? As you know, I'm the leading authority on ghost research. Only be fate that we would meet again. A log? Ah, this is the... Okay, so this is the, let's see, story objectives here. If you're like, what do I do again? Here's the achievement. I'm missing six of them. I need... A few hundred more gold coins. A few hundred more bills. A lot more gold bars that I probably won't get. Bunch more pearls that I probably won't get. All the gems, which I will get. And that's it. I seem to have every other achievement. There's all gems on each floor is a separate achievement. Oh, no, wait, there is this mystery one. Oh, wait, that's just because I haven't been to that floor yet. Capture all booze. Oh, okay, that was that category. That was the collection category. 
or the hotel itself. Ride the elevator 50 times, I'm very close. Uh, two mystery thing. Locked up all merchandise in hotel shops. Can't say I bothered to do that. Right, all exhibits. I didn't do that? Well, darn. So each floor has its own unique achievement, which means I missed one on floor 10 and floor 11. Oh no, wait, 9 and 10? I don't know, I missed some here. All the stuffed bunnies shot down the moon. Got all the mice in the fitness hall. At all. 500 pests, 999 ghosts, 500 mini ghosts. Slam, defeat in a second. Heather, slam seven times. Ah, there are scare scraper achievements. I can't see most of them, but I can see complete 100 total floors. God, no. <laughs> Not unless I have friends. I completed, uh, today I did not complete any floors, but in the other stream where I did Scare Scraper, I got through three of them. Toad is just there to look cute. And to eat Egad's food. Thanks for coming out tonight. Spooky season has one week left to go with the big day happening next Monday. Tomorrow is the Luigi's Mansion 3 finale is going to be the rest of story mode, including all the gems on the 15th floor. See ya, then, or not. People have lives. If you need to do something else, that's cool. The VOD will be around if you're not. But, anyway, I will be here then. So, until then, goodbye. <laughs>